Hi guys, today Mildred is here with me to discuss a first aid kit for your bunny, which you should probably already have before you get the rabbit. <clears throat> no offense, but um, you should obviously have a rabbit savvy vet, don't just go to the local vet, find an actually good one that knows what they're doing. Um, Gauze pads, bandages, Q-tips, cotton pads. I've never had to use any of these on my rabbit, honestly. But, I think everybody has that stuff in their house. Um, Vitericin for minor cuts, like, to help them. Um, I use Neosporin for that. But I guess Vitacerin is popular. Neosporin is safe as long as it doesn't have the um, pain relieving stuff in it. Nail clippers, which is obvious because like they can't cut their own nails. And um, dull blades aren't safe. I mean it's gonna like pull on their fingernail. They're not going to like that, and it will be painful. Stipe tick powder to soothe bleeding, like if you cut the quick. Um, you can use cornstarch as well. That's what I used the one time when it happened, and it solved the bleeding. I mean, it helped the blood clot. Um, syringes in an eyedropper. You might need it, especially when it comes to getting critical care, which is the next part. Um, infant gas drops, obviously for gas. One milligram, I gave it to Millie before and she started eating normal. She was a little hunched, but it wasn't GI status, she was just bothered. And um, you need a carrier to go to a vet, obviously. Saline for eye gunk, like if they have debris in their eye, and um, a brush, because brushing rabbits, here let me get you up here, brushing rabbits helps you keep them from getting GI status because of all the fur that will get in their stomach. Thank you, Mildred. And that's about it. This video only took three minutes. You get this stuff now, it won't be a problem later. I had a hard time finding baby gas drops when I needed them, so yeah, I suggest getting it ahead of time. And that's about it. Bye.